Welcome back to Dominique Pernay's course on celestial navigation. My name is John Pinto, and I'm an amateur astronomer and mathematician, and I'll be presenting Dominique's course to you. Uh, here in episode 27, we're going to look at a day's work at sea. So we'll look at the morning, noon, and afternoon sight, uh, as you would do out at sea uh, using just the sun. Dominique's complete course is covered in his book, Celestial Navigation, and the complete set of exercises is in the accompanying exercise book. Uh, you can get the exercises and the manual uh, here at marinenavigationbooks.com. Also there at marinenavigationbooks.com, you can download some worksheets. You can download the uh, PDF of the exercise manual, which you are going to need either the PDF version or the or the or the hard copy um, to do the exercises we're going to be talking about in this lesson. So here is the information uh, you might record for a morning site with your sextant. You're going to record the uh, date uh, at UTC, uh, <clears throat> where you are, how far you've traveled, your log position, your course uh, and speed. You're going to note your DR position, what time you took this site, if there was any error in your chronometer, which you have to adjust the time of sight by, uh, what body you um, observed, the sun. So up here you can you know, notice this is the sun. And you could even circle the fact that you uh, observed the lower limb and whether or not this was a morning or evening site. So you can circle that as well. It's just good information to um, make sure that uh, everything sort of makes sense when you get out to uh, do your plotting. Then, of course, you record your sextant uh, value. Now, um, this is just the what you observed on the sextant, but obviously you have to make some corrections to that. Um, then uh, what index error there was for your for your particular sextant, what your height of I is. And when you're all done filling all this information out and doing your calculations, you're going to then plot the line of position and just mark it as 17 hours, seven minutes. So here's your work form. Uh, it's start, starting to look familiar to you. Uh, you fill in all the information. As I said, you uh, circle what uh, limb of the sun you were using, whether this is a morning or evening site, um, fill in your um, dates and logs and courses and speeds, and you just start working your way down. Now, the beauty of these worksheets is they're extremely logical and they kind of walk you through it uh, step by step. So as long as you can you know, follow along, you know, sort of paint by numbers, but uh, calculate by worksheet, um, it should tell you exactly what you have to do where you have to look, even tells you where to look. Um, and then when you get down to the very bottom, you're going to have an intercept. You're going to have a latitudes and longitudes. Um, you're going to know your uh, assumed latitude. You're going to have an assumed longitude. Let me see where that is. That's going to be over here, your assumed longitude. And from that, you should be able to do a plot of your uh, intercept with your um, with your ZN and uh, be able to uh, draw a line of position. So now you're going to do that for a morning site. So that should be fairly straightforward based on our previous lessons. After you plot that, you will then, you know, make believe a couple hours later, you're now going to uh, take a noon site where you're just basically trying to calculate your latitude. And again, very straightforward. All your information is here. You fill in your information up here, and then um, you're, uh, again, it walks you right through everything you need to do to calculate your latitude, including reminding you what the formulas are, uh, depending on where you are in relation to the sun and what, um, whether you're in the north or south uh, of, the, uh, of the Earth in relation to the equator. Once you do this, okay, so you're going to have your, uh, know what your latitude is so that'll just be a, a straight line marking latitude but where do you draw it so this is where you have to do what what we call um, advancing your position or make doing a uh, running fix is what we're going to basically be doing so you take your morning site 
and based on your uh, course and your and your distance, which you could get from the difference in the log values, you're going to draw a, a line parallel to your morning sight uh, line of position, but you're going to advance it by the distance and the direction that you were traveling. You, when you draw that line, that's your um, advanced position from the morning. You're then going to cross that with the latitude that you determine here. And where those two cross is going to be, you're going to mark that as your running fix at noon. Okay. And you can also mark in your plot where you, uh, where your, where your DR is uh, at each um, of your fixes. The reason you do that is in the end, you want to make sure that your DR is, you know, pretty close to where your fixes are. So you know that you're, uh, you're calculating your DR correctly, and also that you're not being affected by currents and wind and waves and all that good stuff that can move you off uh, where you think you are in uh, in your DR. So once you get that done, okay, you're gonna again a couple hours later. It's time to take an afternoon site. Again, all your information is here. You fill out your work form. Again, just follow uh, the numbers. And once you get this one, you can draw uh, another uh, line of position uh, based on the information that you have here. I'll plot that on your on your sheet. And then what you do is you this time you're going to advance your noon site because that was like the last um, line of position you had. Again, you advance it by the distance you've traveled, which is the difference in the log values. A, a, uh, in the direction of the course. So again, you're going to go parallel to that um, latitude and just move it down. Uh, and then where the two cross, where this afternoon site line of position and that la advanced latitude position cross, that's where you are um, in the afternoon. And you can mark that again as a running fix at that time. And uh, so when you get all done, you should, you're your worksheets and your plots should look like those that are in the exercise manual where the where the answers are. So again, that's the reason why you want to download that exercise manual or buy the exercise manual. I like the I like the, the paper version myself. Um, so I highly recommend you get that. And that should basically kind of be a midterm exercise, midterm test, midterm review for you because we were basically uh, finished at this point with everything having to do with sun sites, you know, morning sites, uh, noon sites, afternoon sites. And there's a lot of navigators that, that that's all they do, right? They don't, they don't go beyond this. But for this particular course, we are going to touch on uh, some of the more uh, advanced things you can do with the moon, the planets, the stars, um, so that you have a complete overview of what celestial navigation is all about. So in our next episode, episode 28, we're going to talk about twilight. How do you calculate that? And why is that important? So I'll give you a little hint. It's important because that's where you're going to do your sights uh, of the moon, the planets, and the stars, because that's when they're going to be visible to you. And it's also when this horizon will still be visible to you, because you still need to um, take your uh, sextant uh, altitudes off the horizon. If you can't see the horizon because it's too dark, it, that then the, being able to see the stars and the moon and the planets is going to be useless. Uh, if it's too early, then you're not going to, be able to see, you'll see the horizon, but you're not going to see the uh, the other celestial bodies other than the sun. Now, technically, you can see the moon during the day uh, at certain times of the month, uh, but uh, that's only for a few days uh, here and there. Uh, but more likely, if you're observing the moon, you're going to be doing it during twilight. So. In any case, knowing how to calculate twilight where you are, uh, it will be uh, very important. So we're going to cut. We're going to spend an entire episode just on twilight. All right. So we will see you next time, and uh, good uh, good sailing and uh, and uh, safe travels.